Hey everybody, this is Brian. I got a request uh, from email from a Logan Reeves to do a video on the gear we use in the bay to catch fish. And he says he fishes here in the summertime and wanted to know the particulars. Uh, so I'm going to tell you. I don't have a lot of opinions on gear. I don't believe it makes a great deal of difference in many situations. Others would disagree uh, and, and all that. But I think just keeping it simple and affordable is how Mary and I do it. We did it on freshwater that way. worked fine. And uh, we bought some nicer gear for freshwater, but I don't really think it made a whole heck of a lot of difference. Maybe in certain areas, it'll make a difference. I think certain applications, it starts to get more specific. But, but just the basics are what I'm going to cover, what we use, and you guys can, you know, hopefully to help you out. So to start with, I got another request on what kind of baitcaster we were using in the last video. Uh, the baitcaster I'm using right here is a Cast King Battle Royale. It's a super inexpensive baitcaster. I'm buying some Cast King products now because I know they're trying to gain market share and I think they're selling a little better quality stuff for a cheaper price. That's my opinion. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. I got this for Christmas from Mary and then uh, I wanted to find a rod to go with it. So I asked my buddy Rob what he uh, thought would be a good one. And he immediately said I needed to get something like this St. Croix, uh, I think it's an Avid series. It's a saltwater rod. Um, I looked them up and they were like $260, $270 and that's way more than I'm going to spend on a rod. And he was able to locate one on eBay that's a, a B stock. You know, it's a one-year warranty. It has some defect in it of some type, so they sell them for less. And he actually picked this up for me, which was awesome. So this bait casting setup I have now, which is only on one video, I just started using it, uh, is a uh, seven-foot medium-heavy power fast-action graphite rod. And I wanted something that would hold most of the stuff we throw is a half ounce to an ounce. But I also wanted to use it for flounder fishing and for tog fishing when I use about two ounces of weight, one or two ounces of weight. So it might be a tad heavy for this rod, but I think it'll have the sensitivity I need to make it uh, work. And I love bait casters. I used them in freshwater. I haven't used them much in saltwater. The ones I took from freshwater and used in saltwater when we first moved here, I promptly destroyed in no time. So we've just gone with spinning gear. But this was so affordable, the real... That I thought I'd give it a try, and then Rob hooked me up with an excellent rod. So that's the bait caster for who, those of you who are asking me. Now, the main rod that we use here in the bay uh, that we started with, and it's worked perfectly, and we've just stuck with it, we just buy these pin battle two uh, combination rod and reels. I think it's all you need in the bay. My buddy Doug has a 3000 that works just fine. These are 4000 uh, series that Mary and I chose just based on asking people. And uh, we started with our fresh water that was way too light. We immediately had to get some salt water. We just happened to choose these and they've worked great. These are the ones I'd recommend. If you want to know my opinion and what to use, you get these combos for 120, 130 bucks, the rod and reel and everything. The rod is stiff enough to handle most of the things that you do in the bay. You can catch most everything on it. And you see in some of our videos, we catch about four foot sharks with this and it still handles it. So uh, this is the rod and reel I'd recommend you get if you're starting out and you're looking to, to buy something or you need a replacement. Uh, I think that's about, you know, as affordable as you get on a relatively decent saltwater setup. So the pin battle two combos, either 3000 or like this one, the 4000, that's the bottom line. That's the one you should use in my opinion to get started. That's what I'm going to recommend to everybody. Now, they do make slight variations of that. And so for Christmas, I got Mary her own version here in pink. This is a Pen Battle 2 Passion Series. It's just uh, made for female anglers. 4,000. Has a different little grip on it and all. So I just got some pink braid for her. And uh, she uses that. So this is a rod she's going to use just for herself. This stuff is a 7-foot extra fast action. Made for 1 8 to 3 quarter ounce lures. Uh, 8 to 20 pound braid. So uh, that's what we have here. So just a different variation of it. Now, last year we had one of our reels go into the salt water and it messed it up. Uh, so I bought a replacement for that. So this is the Pen Battle 2 combo minus the reel. So this is the Pen Battle 2 rod. Again, seven foot rod. Uh, let's see if it says what it is. It's a seven foot extra fax action, 10 to 30 pound braid one quarter to one ounce weight and again we use these for togging you know two ounce weights use them for flounder and i uh, use it for throwing lures as well so again i think it's the only combo you need to get going now because that reel went bad 
I replaced it with a uh, Cas King Kodiak 4000. And the reason I went with this is it's priced reasonably. It's not that expensive. And it has a magnificent amount of drag. I don't, I'll, I'll put up the stuff for you, but I don't know what it, it it's a, it's a, it's a lot. So I'll put it on there and, and you guys can look at it. You'll be watching it over me as I talk here. Gives you some of the specifics on it, but I just simply replaced it. It's a little bit different feel though. It has a round ball here, round handle on it, which is different. Whereas those have a, a, a flatter, you know, feel. So as soon as you switch, it's immediate, it's different. But uh, I just went with it just to give it a try. The verdict's out on all this casking stuff. Uh, I use it, but I haven't used it long enough to give you an opinion if the reels are any good or not. They might be crap, but they, they seem okay. Now the line that we use on almost everything is the Cast King 20 pound braid. Okay, I'll put it up on the screen for you as well. Why do I go with this? Well, it's affordable, you know, it's worked. Uh, I had some um, Power Pro that we used before and uh, I, I had it on my fresh water rods for a long time. It worked fine. This was just a little less expensive. Uh, I don't think color really matters. We go with blue. You probably should go with moss green. We did pink. I don't think the fish really care if the water's you know not super clear. Um, anyway, so that's what we use, 20 pound Cast King braid. Now on the front of these rods, like if I'm throwing the bait caster here and I have, I have my barrel swivel and I want some fluoro on it before I attach my tactical angler swivel, uh, we just use some, some fluoro. I use that for the tall rigs and flounder rigs as well. So this is Cast King and it's called a fluoro coat. And this is 30 pound, but in its crystal clear color. But this isn't leader material. It's not advertised. This isn't the advertised leader material. The reason I went with regular 30 pound fluoro is that you get gobs of it for the same price as of just a little bit of leader. Now it's not as thick. If you get 30 pound leader and 30 pound fluoro, both fluoro, one's labeled leader, the, the leader's clearly thicker. My guess is they're simply making 30 pound leader that probably is more like 50 pound, you know, line. And they're just calling it 30 pound leader. It's just simply thicker. So anyway, just a heads up on that. But I bought this just because you get tons of it. So I think that's the way to go. Not quite as durable as 30 pound leader, but it's a heck of a lot more expensive. Okay. Now to something I'm going to do a full review on later. When, when I was looking at getting uh, pliers or clippers, nippers, anything like that to cut braid, uh, braid's always been a problem for us after we've had the tool itself for a while. Just seems to dull down and things like that. So um, I was looking for something as a longer term solution so I could cut and work with the gear and all that um, and tie up stuff. So I went with this Klaus carbon steel pair of scissors. I'll put it on the screen as well. Uh, I absolutely love these things and I plan to do a full review on them uh, down the road, but I want to use it a full year before I say. All I do is spray it a little bit with some uh, Yami Lube or you know WD-40, anything like that, and go for it. But these things have so far cut like butter. They've been superb, and we've used them a lot. No signs of wear or anything on them, still real sharp. So that's a recommendation there. Finally, the clips that we use uh, to tie, to clip on uh, artificials, is the tactical anglers clips we use the 50 pound or 75 pound i recommend the 75 pound unless you're using real small baits uh and that's really it that's that's it for gear i don't really get any fancier than that uh trying some new things to have some fun but if if you're looking to get started by the battle 2 combos or 3000 or 4000 series put some cast king 20 pound braid on it uh put your stuff on there and get fishing that's really it i uh, hope that helps you out and I'll talk to you later.